This is Bob. Look, Bob, it's safe, I swear. You really expect me to believe that? I wasn't born yesterday. Bob lives his life as usual, not feeling different in any way whatsoever. But if we take a look at his lungs... Bob's lungs are definitely feeling a bit different. This is because inside of Bob's disposable vape are some not-so-fun chemicals, including acrolin, often used as weed killer, lead, typically used in pencils, and of course, diacetyl, a chemical linked primarily to lung disease and the infamous popcorn lung. Popcorn lung certainly has a unique name, and there is a story behind it. Popcorn lung was first recorded in the early 2000s from workers in microwave popcorn factories. The diacetyl entered their lungs, damaging small airways. This chemical is used in every vape to this day. But sure, it's not as bad as smoking, right? <coughs> right? <coughs> this is Bob, six months into daily vape usage. Let's check in with those lungs, shall we? Well, that's certainly not normal. His lungs are inflamed and enlarged from the strain they've been put under over the past six months. But Bob can't stop now. He's addicted. At least his brain is. The amount of dopamine he receives from the nicotine is incredibly high, and his brain associates this happiness with vaping. The bad thing about this, other than the smoke itself, is that your baseline level of dopamine decreases the higher the peak level of dopamine reached is. The higher the peak, the lower the baseline goes. This means Bob has to smoke more to feel as happy as he did his first time vaping. These six months of vaping, unbeknownst to Bob, have set him up for a life of health problems. He now runs the risk of cardiovascular disease, lung disease, seizures, and thanks to his newfound nicotine addiction, he has a very high chance of becoming a smoker. This is Bob, and there's a lot more like him. In Ireland alone, 18% of teenagers are avid vapors, and this number has only gone up since the study in 2019. Teen vaping is a terrible epidemic. It's leading countless teens to a life of health problems and difficulty, but we can change it. We hope by watching our projects that you'll be able to see the long-lasting effects of vaping on bodies young and old. And as your narrator, I hope these past few minutes weren't too hard to sit through.